She told me he was calling my name at the end. I never got there. It was never there for him, really, at all. Not then. So wrapped up in myself, where he was concerned, and most other things too, back then. I was just me, all me. He, so sensitive. Both of us back then, sensitive. Yet he more so. They killed him, really. Always looking for a place where he could just be. I, with determination, at four years older, had grown my own skin. Even though that was almost transparent. He was transparent. More so. He could not hide himself, his soul, like mine, hidden. His soul, still only 23, at the mercy of all those earthly bound monsters. Up, I could fly a little. He needed to be taught and I didn't really help him. Yet he looked into my eyes so much, for a time so much, to know this place, our little lives together, shared in bunk beds. We vanished away so many times together, playing, two boys, two brothers. We didn't know so many times this place, our own place, and nobody else's place. The cracking away of hearts. We created so much laughter. Our noise, my brother and me, Howard and me, frightened in his hospital bed, not wanting to see himself in a mirror anymore. This disease had him, got him, held him tightly. Although all he'd ever wanted was his search for love. They killed him, really, with their calling of cruel names. Who could survive here? There's so much ignorance, so much strength needed and none Hardly none in him found, yet caught too soon, captured, playing other men's games, discovering other men's ways. You see, we did not know a secret then. We both did not know. Nobody told us or in thought, deed or word. Or if they did, we did not feel it how to love ourselves for our own sake. A kind of survival, protection. Until we both could give to another in this world love. But not for us. Back then, well not for me anyway. I had decided to make my own life Elsewhere, alone. So, in the end, when ill, and everything he'd known so quickly gone, alone in his flat, father dead, mother remarried, and no other place found, although with new camp friends waiting and the aunties lamenting, he took his pills, too many. We know what you are. We know what you've turned into. Oh, cut the crap, Aunt Lily. Once infected, well, if you live that sort of life, what do you expect? He had to leave. Deciding his time was now. And only now. Gone calling my name so many times in such a short life. 
he was going it, although he was almost there, he still was, was still somewhere fighting, even though I'd let him down so many times to boost my own fragile self, he still seemed wanted to hold on to that thing we had inside us both. I'm sure, at least, I still hope so. Him inside me saying goodbye to the world once shared when nobody else knew us could ever go, a world we inhabited before we had really ever begun. The world of you and me, Howard. I've learned this from him only now. Today he was, in the end, my lesson, my world's lesson, a lesson taught hard from him to me, sacrificed for my own good. This unspoken word between ourselves, always in my life, his word, my brother, will always be to me forgiveness. All the rest is folly. <laughs>